And we also have to watch the tropics because we do have tropical depression three on our hands. It's tracking through the central Atlantic, as you can see right there on visible satellite and a pretty clear defined area of circulation. And so it's impressive to see on visible satellite because of, as of right now, it's not impacting anyone. However, that could be changing by the end of the week as this is moving into a pretty conducive and favorable environment, meaning that we've got a lot of moisture to work with, a very unusually warm sea surface temperatures in the 80s, low to mid 80s, especially as we get closer to the kind of lesser Antilles. And also we've got low wind shear. And so this is a cause for concern for folks in the lesser Antilles. Also, the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico need to be monitoring this forecast very closely over the coming days because we could be dealing with tropical storm Brett by the end of today, if not by tomorrow, and also potentially a hurricane by the end of the week. Now, that's not the only storm we're talking about. Invest 93L right on its heels. Also, disorganized area of showers and storms moving in pretty much the exact same trajectory as TD3 is. So if we didn't have enough to deal with on our hands, well, we've got two storm systems that are pretty potent, and there's not a whole lot to kind of break these storms apart. Now, there is some guidance that we could be watching as vertical wind shear will start to pick up by kind of the middle to end of the week. So that could help to kind of rip and pull apart these systems. But for the time being, we're watching as this system moves into a very favorable environment, heading to the west, 21 miles per hour, sustained winds, or sustained winds coming in at 35 miles per hour. So that does put that in that tropical depression category. Once we see those winds reach above 39 miles per hour, that's when we'll be talking about a tropical storm. The next name on our storm list is Brett. So we could have tropical storm Brett, by potentially the end of today, if not by tomorrow, and then eventually even a hurricane. As you can see, once we have those winds reaching above 75 miles per hour, 74 technically, 75 miles per hour is where they're forecasted to be by Wednesday evening. That's when we could have a hurricane on our hands, and then they are even expected to increase even that much more by Thursday morning and stay sustained at about 80 miles per hour into Friday. So the hurricane hunters are expected to head into the storm Wednesday afternoon to investigate. And as of right now, this system does not pose any impacts, any threats to the U.S. mainland or the Bahamas. But still, if you are planning on traveling, I get it. It's June. After all, you're probably maybe heading down to the Caribbean. Well, this is something that you have to watch very carefully because, I was mentioning, very low wind shear. And so for the time being, it's off to the races with this particular storm. Right now, Tropical Depression 3 potentially could be Tropical Storm Brett by the end of today. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.